Okay, three, two, two one. one. Hi everyone and happy Easter. I'm Dylan. And I'm Leah and welcome to the Frozen Friends Club. Leah and I were just talking about how every year at least one to two Easter eggs that we color ends up breaking during our Easter egg hunts. When the show breaks, it ruins the cool designs we make. See, if Elsa was here, she could just make a nice soft pile of snow appear underneath it and it wouldn't break. Yeah, well, Elsa isn't here and neither of us have ice powers. Yeah, so we had an idea. We've been learning a lot about the force of motion in our science classes. When an egg falls, the egg falls because of gravity, and it keeps falling until something, aka the ground, stops it. The egg is moving really fast when it hits the ground, and the force is big, so it causes the shell to break. We've also learned that there are several ways to reduce that force when the egg hits the ground. You can either have something to help absorb the shock of the egg, or you can have something to help slow the egg down. So the force of impact isn't as great. So today, we're going to put what we know to the test and use our creativity to create devices <laughs> to see if we can keep our Easter eggs from breaking. Then we're gonna actually test them out and see whose egg saving device works the best. It's going to be mine. We'll see about that. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm so Let's ready, do let go. It. So our parents helped us gather some arts and crafts items to use for our egg saving devices. So some of the supplies here are balloons, markers, toilet paper rolls, popsicle sticks, straws. Oh, and don't forget the safety scissors. Always use safety scissors, and if you ever need help, ask a parent or guardian. And we're gonna be using hard boiled eggs today, so we don't make a big mess. So you wanna get to it? Awesome, okay. Three, two, two one, one, go. Could you hand me the blue scissors? Yeah. Thank you. Do you want the silver stars? Uh, not yet. I'm gonna start by, I think, wrapping the egg in felt. What about you? So what I've done here is I've cut out this. Mm -hmm. So like I can put straws in it. So what I'm gonna do is cut these in half and you know, put these in the middle so they fit and the egg doesn't fall out. What are you gonna kinda do? I'm gonna do a parachute. So parachute, I attach it to this. The strings will support the parachute. Okay. And when I drop it, it should slow it down. So before I put my top straws in, I'm gonna see if my hard boiled egg will fit. Do you think this will cushion it? Oh like, wow, it yeah, won't move it definitely either. looks really sturdy yeah, in there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna attach this, I'm gonna put strings in. Awesome. And attach it to the, to this. Yours is looking really good Thank so you, far. yours too. Thanks. <laughs> I want it to cushion and support the egg. I'm thinking of a triangle kind of shape, yeah. So the main idea for mine is to just cushion the egg as much as possible. Just like snow can cushion a fall, like if Anna fell into the snow, then she would be okay, maybe a little cold. So the felt and the straws are gonna cushion it just like the snow would. So this is the parachute I built. Hopefully when I drop it, the air will catch onto the fabric and slow it down, just like a parachute would. But at least it is catching, so. That is good. Thank you. I'm just gonna finish using some string and then I'll be done. We're done. Nice. So mine, I put a lot of string to reinforce and like keep the two separate triangles together. And you can see the egg is in here. And the one that goes straight down the middle is to help support and keep the egg inside and steady. So I really hope that it'll help support the fall and the egg won't break. So what I have here is a parachute attached to the straws so that the parachute is actually holding in place so the air actually can go under. And then here I have tape to help cushion it and then decorations. And then I have these landing pads. So when it lands, it helps stabilize it just like a helicopter would. All right, are you ready to test these out? I sure am. Let's go try it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited to test these out. Okay. Hopefully they don't break. I know. Okay. You go first. All right, let's see. Coming up. Okay, three, two, two one. one. Go. <laughs> okay, did it break? Your turn. Yeah, I'll go next. Wait to see. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa, hopefully that was not the egg. Okay. But let's check it out. You go first. Me? Yeah. Okay. I hope it didn't break. I know. Let's just do this. I'm excited. I'm gonna set this down real quick. 
time to unravel the fabric. It's oh. safe! Oh. It didn't break! Can I see? Yeah. Wow. The paint came off a little yeah. bit, but no cracks. Yes, yeah. it didn't break! I know, it cushioned it, so when yeah. it bounced around, it, the egg wouldn't absorb it anything. It did. Okay, let's see yours. Okay. Here, do you see? want me to hold the straws? Oh, thank you, yeah. Yes, thank you. Here, I'll go. Oh, he oh, cracked no, on the bottom. Oh no! It might have <laughs> needed a little more cushion. Yeah, I agree. So if we dropped it higher, the force of impact wouldn't be as great because the yeah. parachute would have more time to collect air and yeah. stuff. So now I know what to do next time is to drop it higher and add more cushioning. Yeah. You did a really good job on yours. Thanks, yours too. <laughs> At least I know how to keep my Easter eggs safe this year. But if they're all in our egg-saving devices, we won't be able to see the cool designs we put on them. But they'll be safe. <laughs> We hope you learned something, we sure did. And remember, nature is yours to discover. Until next time, bye! bye.